So today I'm just going to be patching some tubes. As you can see, I've got uh, a fair number of tubes to patch here. Yeah, it's uh, just one of those things that would pile up. Now, I'm not really going to go into too much detail about how to do this because, I mean, the process is pretty obvious and you can just follow along and watch and listen. Um, I am going to try and sort of involve you in listening for weeks and hopefully you can get some good sounds out of these guys. So there's basically three different methods for finding leaks on a tire and one is just listening with your ear and that's what we're going to be doing primarily. The other one is if you can't quite hear it you can use a bucket of water and just sort of pass it through the bucket of water one section at a time, you know, just sort of like that all the way through. And then once you've done that, hopefully you'll see some bubbles and then you'll know where the leak is. Now, if I can get away with it, I usually prefer not to do that just because it, well, you have to dry off the tube afterwards and that makes it harder to prepare for the patching. Um, and the third method, which we won't really do at all, but you can try if you're ever doing this, is if you just sort of pass the tube underneath of your upper lip, um, you can feel where a leak is and yeah that's basically just because your lips are really sensitive and so yeah sometimes you can feel a leak that you can't even hear it's really good for you know pinpointing where exactly a leak is so anyways let's get started out of the way. things I find can be See if we can find the leak. Hear anything?
looks like it's right there. Okay. the tube is stretched just from blowing it up like that.
improve it to be wavy layer, just kind of slightly bigger than the patch you want to put on. And you just put the patch centered on the hole. And you just press it in place. because if you peel that plastic off too quickly then sometimes the patch will come with it so we'll just go on to the next one 